Hello guys, welcome to JGK Master Class. In today's video, we are going to learn what are conjugate elements and how these elements form classes in group theory. This topic is taken from MSc Chemistry and it is also very important for CSI or NET and GATE examination. The topic which I have lifted today is again on demand uh, since it is there in the previous year of question paper of uh, BCU MSc Chemistry final year paper. You can find the questions and its discussion and solution in the present video. Class. So we will see first what is class. Two elements let's say it is A and B of the group, it forms a class when they are conjugate to each other. So, how do you represent it? Let's say X and X inverse is the symmetry element of the same group from which A and B elements are taken. So, on performing this similarity transformation operation, if we are getting the other element of the same group, then A and B forms a class. So, we will see that uh, by taking one example, X and X inverse are similarity transformations here. So, we will take here C3B point group. I assume that you are aware of point group and symmetry operations and then we can discuss about the class. So here you can see C3V point group is having three different type of symmetry operations, identity, the axis of rotation which is here C3 axis of rotation and the three vertical planes. So total if you count the symmetry elements here are six, therefore the order of the group is six here. Now to perform and find out whether the C3 1 and C3 2 forms the same class, can we write it? like 2C3 or the 3 sigma v here present forms a class then can we write it 3 sigma v to find that we will perform the similarity transformation first we will see whether the C31 and C32 forms a class in C3v point group for that we are taking here sigma v1 the other third element to perform the similarity transformation. So here sigma v1 will act as a similarity transformation. We will take the inverse of it and we want to see whether c31 which is acting as a here and c32 is b. Both elements belongs to the same group including sigma v1. So on performing this if we are getting the result like uh, performing these three uh, the three operations together, if we are getting C32 operation, means C31 and C32 forms a class. So, how we will see first a note how to find out the inverse of anything, how to perform this operation. So, you can note down that inverse of any reflection or inversion operation will be its own, like sigma inverse will be equal to sigma, i inverse will be equal to i and c n minus 1 is equal to c n n minus 1 so that we get the positive value and we can do the rotation or reflection or inversion accordingly in this case then sigma v1 inverse will be equal to sigma v1 now we will see by taking the example of c3v point group ammonia since the principal axis here c3 you can see here nitrogen which is having three hydrogen here the axis of rotation is passing through the nitrogen atom if you rotate the molecule three times you will get the indistinguishable mirror image means the h1 will come to its original position after three times rotation so the molecule is having c3 axis of rotation now we have to perform on this sigma v1 so the vertical plane v1 like there are total three vertical planes as you can see with respect to each one nitrogen and one hydrogen here respectively 1, 2 and 3. So for sigma V1, we will see that the plane is passing through the nitrogen and H1. So the atoms which are on this plane will remain constant and the other two will reflect. So will interchange its position after performing sigma V1. You can notice here H1 on its original position while the H3 and H2 has interchanged the position. Now we have to perform C31. C31 means 
you have to perform one time rotation where h1 one time rotation means c3 c3 means 360 degree divided by 3 you have to rotate the molecule 120 degree one time so in that case h1 will go to the position of h3 you can notice h3 will come to the position of h2 and h2 will go to the position of h1 and so one time you are rotating the molecule performing c31 operation you got this image and after that we have to perform the sigma v1 inverse which is actually equal to sigma v1 so we have to perform the same operation passing through this uh, so the plane will remains the same whatever atom is present here Uh, whether it is H one or H two, so here H two will remain constant because it is on the sigma v one axis. The other two will interchange. So here H three and H one will interchange its position. So finally, we have performed all the three operations and we got this image. Now we will see how we can directly get this image from the starting ammonia molecule. So you can notice here final change. that h1 has taken two times its position or two times rotated and come to the h3 position and h3 again after two times rotation it went to the h2 position and h2 again after two times rotation came to the h1 place so basically you can directly get this image the final image after performing c3 two times means two times you are rotating the molecule and so we can say that c31 and c32 are the conjugate elements and we so it forms a class therefore we can write it like 2c3 okay so like this uh, i hope you understood what are conjugate elements and how does it form a class now we will solve the problem which is given in one of the previous years of question paper from msc chemistry that uh, shows that two sigma v operations of c2v point group are non conjugate while the three sigma v operations of c3v are conjugate so how to solve that first we will take the example of c3v as we have done just now uh, there in the introduction we have done for c3 operation now we will see for sigma uh, to perform sigma v one operation well, to see whether sigma v one form a class with sigma v3 we will take c31 as a similarity transformation and now we will perform these three operation all together to see whether these two are conjugate element or not so for that we have seen the formula already that cn inverse is equal to cn n minus 1 here n is 3 so c3 minus 1 will be c32 so basically the inverse of c3 inverse is equal to c32 we can find the positive operation so that we can do it easily on the molecule now we'll take the example ammonia which has the c3v point group and we'll perform these three operations all together one by one so first on the ammonia molecule where you represent 1 2 3 and you are performing c3 one operation means you are rotating the molecule by 120 degree and so it is changing the position like we have seen in the introduction after performing that we are seeing the we are doing the sigma v1 operation sigma v1 in the first image is with respect to nitrogen and h1 so whatever atom falls on this plane will remain constant so in the second image here it is nitrogen and h3 so it will remain a constant while performing sigma v1 and uh, only h1 and h2 will interchange the position and you can see here the third image only h1 and h2 has interchange s3 is at the same place then third is you have to perform c32 operation for c33 inverse which is two times you have to rotate the molecule in that case c h3 will come after two time rotation uh, in the place of h1 and then uh, h1 will come after two times of rotation in the position of h2 you can notice and then similarly you can rotate all the three hydrogen and you will get the final image now this final image we will see how we can get it from the first image of ammonia molecule you just compare the two figure here you can notice the position of h3 is constant and so uh, only the h1 and h2 is interchanging the position we can perform sigma v3 operation here uh, to get the final image directly so we can say sigma v1 and sigma v3 are conjugate 
elements. These two are conjugate element and so it forms a class. Similarly, we can also have to find out whether sigma v3 and sigma 2 are conjugate elements or does it form a class. Same way you perform the operation c31 followed by sigma v3. Sigma v3 will be from the first image where you have nitrogen and H3. So here in the second image you have nitrogen and H2 that will remain constant. You can see here only the H1 and H3 is interchanging on performing sigma v3. And then sigma 3 inverse which is equal to C3 2. Two times you have to rotate H1 will come to H2 position. You can notice H2 will go to the H3 position and H3 will come after two times rotation at H1 position. And you get the final image where we can see how we are getting this image from the first image. Just compare it and you can notice H2 position is constant in both the image. So we can say you have sigma v2 operation on performing that only the h1 and h3 is interchanging. So we can say that sigma v3 and sigma v2 are the conjugate elements. As the definition says that sigma v3 and v2 are representing a and b. So on performing similarity transformation, uh, a and b forms a conjugate uh, or forms a class uh, if they are conjugate element. The third uh, example you can take here to find whether sigma v1 and v2 forms a class. Say here we are taking similarity transformation C3 2. So you are having the inverse of it C3 inverse 2. How to find it out for this? You can notice uh, we can uh, C3 inverse 2 can we write it like C3 minus 1 dot C3 minus 1. So if you open like that we know the C3 inverse is C3 2. And so the two product you can also write that C33 into C31 and C33 is the identity operation. So if you multiply identity that is 1 equivalent to 1, 1 multiplied by any operation will give you the same operation here. So ultimately C3 inverse 2 is equal to C31 because we need to perform the operation on the molecule. And now you can go in the same way C32 means two times you have to rotate. Then followed by the sigma V1 which is in the first image nitrogen and H1 and then finally you have to perform C3 inverse 2 which is actually C3 1 means you have to rotate only one time. You just notice H1 is coming to the H3 position, H3 is going to the H2 and now you have to see this final image how you can get it from the first image and on notice you can see the H2 position remain constant so you are performing basically sigma V2. And so we can say sigma v1 and v2 form the conjugate elements and they, they are the conjugate elements that form a class. And so we can say all the three sigma v operations of C3v point group are conjugate elements and forms a class. And so you can write down for C3v point group you have actually how many classes? Three classes. One is identity, two is for C3 and three for sigma v. So what does it mean? You have two uh, C3 operations which forms a class and three sigma v operation which forms the same class. And the question says that the C2v point group, so for C2v point group you have four symmetry operations E, C2, sigma v and sigma v2. So the question says the two sigma v operations are not the conjugate element. To find it out we have to perform the same type of operation. Like we are seeing that whether sigma v1 and sigma v2 are the conjugate elements on performing the similarity transformation. We are taking the other element of the same list, uh, C2 operation. C21 if you are taking, we will take the inverse of it and we will perform on water molecule. Water molecule has a C2 point group. So uh, on performing C21 which is 180 degree rotation, uh, you can see the position of H2, H1 interchanges. You have two vertical plane, one vertical plane is passing through the oxygen which contains the principal axis of rotation and so again it is going to inter interchange the position H1 and H2. C2 inverse is again is equal to C2 1 only as a formula we have learned. C2 1 means again you are rotating the molecule H2 and H1 are interchanging the position. So finally after performing all three operations, you just compare the final image with the first image and you can notice, uh, you can get the final image after performing 
sigma v1 operation or you can perform uh, sigma v1 operation means you are getting here the result sigma v1 means sigma v1 and sigma v2 are the commutative elements rather than the conjugate elements because a is giving if sigma v1 represent a a is giving the a only means it is the commutative elements not the conjugate elements sigma v2 how you will get uh, actually sigma v2 contains oxygen and both the hydrogen it is a molecular plane so it should be the same as you are seeing the first image so therefore we can say the two sigma v operations of c2v point group are the non conjugate elements because here a is not giving you b okay sigma v1 is not giving you sigma v2 and therefore it is non conjugate element so i hope you understood uh, this question uh, and uh, you can find such kind of question in the previous years of question paper all the best guys if you like this video and you feel this video is of your use then do subscribe my channel like this video share it with your friends and please do write some comments either with respect to your comments uh, in this video or you can ask any question in the comment section thank you